something is coming. It's moving faster than anything we've ever launched into space. It doesn't come from our moon, our planets, or even our sun. It comes from the dark, between the stars. Right now, a massive object, 3i slash ATLAS, is racing through our solar system. It's not from here. It's an interstellar intruder. We don't know exactly what it is. We don't know where it came from. And we don't know if we'll ever see something like it again. It could be a frozen shard from a dying star system. Or it could be something far more disturbing. In 2017, we had our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, a strange, elongated object that moved in ways we didn't fully understand. Some said it was just an odd-shaped rock. Others suspected something artificial. Then in 2019, we saw our second, 2i slash Borisov, a clear comet, icy and fast, no mystery there. Now in 2025, we have our third, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. And this one is different. It's bigger than Oumuamua, brighter than Borisov, and moving at speeds that tell us, without a doubt, it came from far beyond our solar system. Astronomers first spotted it earlier this year. At first, it was just a faint point of light against the black, but its trajectory told the truth. This was no ordinary comet or asteroid. It's coming in on a hyperbolic path, which means it isn't bound to our sun. It's simply passing through forever. And that's where the fear sets in. Because if it's passing through once, how many more are out there unseen? How many are moving toward us right now? 3i slash a t l a s isn't behaving exactly like a comet. Yes, it has a tail, but its composition suggests it's rich in exotic ices we've never directly observed. It's giving off unusual light patterns, almost like it's tumbling chaotically. And its speed, nearly 60 kilometers per second, means it's been traveling for millions, maybe billions of years. This rock, this shard, could be older than our sun. When you look at it through a telescope, you aren't just seeing an object. You're looking at a time capsule from another star system, a silent messenger from an alien neighborhood we will never visit. Here's where the speculation begins. Some scientists suggested Umamua could have been artificial, perhaps a derelict probe, or even a solar sail from an advanced civilization. Most dismissed that as unlikely, but 3i slash ATLAS is already raising eyebrows. Its reflective properties are strange. Its rotation doesn't perfectly match what we'd expect from a natural object of its size. Could it be debris from an alien spacecraft? A fragment from a destroyed world? Or, and this is the thought that lingers, could it have been sent? We'll never know for certain. But every time we get a visitor like this, the possibility creeps back into our minds. We are not alone. Because it has anomalies, um, it moves on a trajectory that is very unusual. Uh, it al is aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, and uh, it will get extremely close to the inner planets, like, uh, for example, Jupiter, Mars, or Venus. It will arrive closest to the Sun when the Earth is on the opposite side, so we won't be able to look at it. And my point is, we should check whether any of these objects might be technological in origin.
So I suggest uh, first establishing a scale of risk from interstellar objects, similar to the Richter scale for the risk from earthquakes. A zero would mean that we identify a beautiful tail and it looks just like a regular comet. We can infer the composition of the tail. It's similar to comets. A 10 would mean that the object maneuvers in ways that cannot be explained by the force of gravity, that there must be an engine in it, or it has an unusual shape, or it has artificial lights. And there should be an organization that uh, decides whether uh, a, a, an incoming object could be a risk, because we talk a lot about uh, existential risks from artificial intelligence, from uh, climate change, from an asteroid that may impact the Earth, but not, we don't talk at all about the possibility of alien tech. Uh, and uh, it's coming from the direction of the Milky Way galaxy, the center of the Milky Way galaxy, where the sky is very crowded with stars. So that's why it took a while to notice it. Um, and altogether, you know, the chance of this trajectory is uh, less than 0.2% to be aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, less than one part in 20,000 to arrive so close to the other planets. And one wonders, could it be a design trajectory? And I'm not saying that we know, but I'm saying that we need to collect more data to figure out the nature of this object. one of the solutions to Fermi's paradox, which is the question, where is everybody? And of course, it's possible that aliens are out there, uh, but they, they are worried about predators and therefore they are silent, as if they are in a dark forest. And if they see a civilization like ours, a young technological civilization that gets more powerful over time, and they are listening to us, they might send a, a, a probe or a, a spacecraft on a reconnaissance mission or with some other goals. And we should be ready for that. The, the, we should monitor the sky and be aware of that potential possibility. And uh, just ignoring it is not intelligent on our behalf. Here's the worst part. We don't have long to study it. Three I slash A T L A S is moving so fast that by the time we fully understand it, it will already be on its way out of the solar system. In a few short months, it will vanish into the dark, just like Oumuamua did. Our telescopes will gather every scrap of data they can. We'll analyze its spectrum, its shape, its spin. But one thing is certain. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. These interstellar visitors remind us of something uncomfortable. Our solar system is not an isolated bubble. It's part of a vast, chaotic sea. A place where fragments of alien worlds can drift for eternity until chance brings them to our doorstep. Some are harmless. Some might not be. And if we ever get one on a collision course, one we can't stop, the story won't be about studying it. It'll be about surviving it. That's it for today's journey into the unknown. What did you think about the video? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing your theories. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the mysteries of space, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss what's next. We've got more unsettling space stories cosmic dangers, and the awe-inspiring beauty of the universe on the way. Until then, stay safe and stay curious.